Hey guys, Dr. Lira here. Uh, so I'm here with Brady. Brady is a 10 year old Cavachon. And so he has got a couple of different things that we're dealing with in this particular video. Uh, we're gonna be dealing with his partially torn ACL or, going, or a cranial cruciate ligament. We're gonna be dealing with his chronic back issues. And then we're also gonna be dealing a little bit with uh, a suspected pancreatitis flare-up. So this machine over here, Brady, you gotta leave your glasses on for now. For now, I promise. You know what? How about this? We'll go ahead and we'll slide them back. You can just, no? You're cool with that? That's better? Okay. So um, what we're doing uh, is we're using one of the modalities of technology or treatment that we have here that's called cold laser therapy. And so this device that you guys see here, this is what we call a uh, cold laser. And it is a device which goes ahead and the short version of it is, or the layperson I say, is what this does is it emits a, a light at a certain wavelength that stimulates the mitochondria of the cells. Now, the mitochondria of the cells is like the power plant for the cell. And so a lot of times we're like the engine for the cell. And so what I typically tell people, it's like putting like rocket fuel in the engine, or if you're familiar with espresso or coffee, it's like drinking like a bunch of Cuban coffee or a bunch of espresso. Um, and so what will happen is the cells will come to the area that's being lasered and those cells will go ahead and help reduce the inflammation. Um, it'll also increase blood flow to the area to help bring more cells to the area to go ahead and help. So what we're going to do is we've already got this set up to start lasering on his knee and we're going to, now we got to put the, your glasses on bud, so let's see here. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing fa fancy glasses, Abraham's wearing fancy glasses, we're all wearing fancy glasses. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this laser uh, directly on the spot that hurts. Now. But some different laser technologies, uh, if you leave the laser in the same spot for a prolonged period of time, it will actually cause a burn. Um, the thing I like about this particular laser is that's not the case. Uh, we can leave this laser um, literally, as you can see, right on top of the area, and it will not cause any sort of burning whatsoever. Um, the other thing that I like about this particular technology is that it seems to work faster than the other lasers that I've had. And so therefore the patients don't have to sit still as long. Now, the great thing about this particular technology is that it does also not cause any sort of issues with the liver or the kidneys or anything like that, where if we have patients that have um, the need for anti-inflammatories, then that's something that typically is metabolized by the liver and or the kidneys. And it's something that is just an unnecessary risk if we don't have to take it. So. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Now we're doing multiple points on his knee. Um, that's just to go ahead and make sure that we're getting all the different angles of the knee. And so he does have, like I said, a partially torn ACL. This is not going to heal the ACL or the cranial cruciate ligament. This is actually uh, just going to help to um, reduce the inflammation in the joint. Uh, this is something that is just going to help manage his pain and his arthritis, not necessarily cure it. So I just want to be clear about that. Okay, guys? Um, so now the next thing. Um, all right, we're going to switch the heads on this. And we are going to go now to a larger head. And we're going to go with chronic inflammation. And then we've got six points. We're going to drop that down to three. We're going to hit start. And as you guys can see now, um, we are going to be lasering Brady's back. Now, the thing for me is um, they say that the ideal distance is about eight inches from um, the, the surface of the skin when you're using this larger laser. Brady, you got to leave your glasses on, okay, kiddo? I know, we're almost done. Um, we want to protect Brady's eyes as well. Uh, this laser can potentially cause, just like any of the lasers, can potentially cause uh, vision issues if it if you're not careful with it. And so we want to make sure that we're doing everything here to be cautious, not only with ourselves but also with our patients. Um, now, one of the other modalities of treatment for the 
back or slip disc that Brady has could be um, acupuncture, surgery, steroids, um, uh, underwater treadmill therapy, all that kind of stuff. And that's something that, let's see here, so we're just coming at this from a different angle. Okay. Um, and so what we're trying to achieve is we are trying to achieve a therapy or treatment that causes the highest amount of results with the least amount of invasiveness at this point. Brady is experiencing some other issues where they don't necessarily make him a great candidate for any sort of super stressful procedures. Almost done, kiddo, I promise. I promise, I know. And so, um, so yeah, so as you can see, I mean, this is something that if the patients are fine with just sitting there, this is not a, a stressful procedure at all. And so it's something that if you can just get them to sit, then we can go ahead and do what we have to do. Um, let's see here. Um, the last thing that we are going to be lasering on Brady after we finish this particular session on his back is going to be um, his pancreas. So the pancreas is um, inflamed on Brady and laser therapy has been shown to go ahead and help reduce the inflammation and increase the healing rate um, when patients are experiencing pancreatitis. Um, one of the things that I do make clients aware of is whenever we are doing any sort of laser therapy, let's say on the abdomen or something like that, it is something that we do want to be cautious that there is no evidence of cancer. Um, the cancer sometimes can uh, be made worse in theory if you laser it because we're increasing the blood flow to that particular area and so therefore if we are increasing blood flow to a tumor then in theory we would be increasing uh, the number of cells and that kind of stuff and that's just something that we're not really looking to do so um, we're going to do the last session of laser on, on brady right now as you can see he is just kind of chilling um, so the pancreas um, so you have a couple, you have two lobes on the pancreas. One is going to be kind of coming across like uh, this. Um, it's going to come across right the, right over the abdomen like this. And then the other uh, lobe of the pancreas is going to be sitting on the right side of his belly. And so as of right now, what we're trying to do is we'll be trying to hit the uh, pancreas on the right side of the belly. And then on the next session, we'll be hitting the lobe that comes across the abdomen. Um, the pancreas, pancreatitis can be something that is painful. And so we don't really have a whole lot of treatment modalities or treatment for pancreatitis in and of itself. Whether or not we give steroids for pancreatitis, we're not really sure. Uh, most veterinarians will try to stay away from it. Um, so that's just kind of, you know, there isn't a, I don't think there's a consensus on whether or not we can go ahead and treat pancreatitis with steroids. So that's my deal on laser therapy. If you guys have any questions about this particular video, uh, leave it in the comment box. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and have a great day.